Well, boys and girls, the end of the year is upon us, and so is 2024. And without further ado, it's time for the biggest epic fails of 2023. Who took the biggest L this year? Here's the nominees. Number one, Ja Morant. Now, John Morant is one of the most talented NBA players of this modern era, and recently he was under fire for brandishing a firearm in public more than once. Now, they say people make mistakes, and I understand that, but if it happens more than once, it's not a damn mistake. It's a choice. And I don't get what the point of him pulling these kind of stunts is anyway. Bro, you have a decade-long NBA career ahead of you. You have a family, and you come from a good family, and you have a daughter to raise. So I don't know why the hell you want to be Ja Rambo all of a sudden. So Ja Morant, get your act together. Other than that, epic fail. Next up, you guys knew this was coming, the submarine incident. Now my prayers, well wishes, and condolences go out to all the victims of this tragedy, but come on. $250,000 a piece just to have a tragedy happen to you. And this situation right here is the epitome of F around and find out. I don't give a damn how much money you got. You don't tempt nature and you don't tempt fate. So epic fail. Next up, this one hurts. The Marvels bombing at the box office. And despite all the delays, this movie had so much hype behind it. And people figured that this movie was going to be the one to turn the Marvel Universe around. But lo and behold... Not only was this movie not the movie to turn the Marvel Universe around, but it's one of the worst received Marvel and superhero movies ever. I guess that phrase rings true. Get woke, go broke. Marvel, epic fail. Next up, God, I'm talking about this. This is so bad that it's been on the list for three years in a row. The Will and Jada Pinkett Smith saga. At this point, these two should have their own damn reality show. They have been in the news tabloids every damn year for the last what? three, four, five years, I'm not even counting anymore because every time you turn your head, Jadis Pinkett Smith is making a fool out of her husband, Will. And sorry, bro, but if it was me, I would have got that damn divorce by now. And sure, he may lose anywhere between one and $250 million, but you got to think, is that the price of your sanity? Will, leave, be smart. Do not let unconditional, undying love be your downfall. And Jada, stop embarrassing your husband. So epic fail on both parts. And speaking of toxic relationships, <laughs> Blueface and Krishan. Where the hell do I start with this one? Matter of fact, Blueface and Krishan's relationship is so toxic that it makes Will and Jada look like an episode of The Newlyweds. And these two idiots are always in the tabloids for something crazy and wild and toxic too, but I guess they're getting publicity and making money off of it. But all publicity is not good publicity, but they're either geniuses or they're freaking insane. Or hell, maybe even a combination of both. But to make matters worse, now a child is involved. They cannot be acting crazy, fighting, cussing, arguing, and sleeping around with other people with the child in the daylight. Now, we know that Blueface is far from father of the year material. But come on, Krishan, don't stoop down to his level and be an even worse mother. Get it together. Blueface, Krishan, epic fail. Next on my list, Adam22 and his wife. <laughs> Oh boy, there's no such thing as unconditional love in this one. And if you want to talk about your wife humiliating you on a public scale, look no further. And I know a lot of y'all are saying, well, it's his choice. It's their choice. And they're both making money off of it. Why are you judging them? Listen, listen, listen. I'm, I'm not against doing what works for you by no means. But guys, come on. No amount of clout, fame, or money is worth my damn dignity. Now, shout out to Adam22 for living my dream. Uh, having a successful worldwide podcast and making millions off that. But dog, is that worth your damn pride? Ain't no way in hell I want to be a laughing stock in front of everybody and be the guy. The thing is, regular guys don't want that either. Why the hell would you want to walk into a bar or club and then half half the ninjas in there laughing at you because they banged your wife? Couldn't be me. So Adam 22, epic fail. And the hits just keep on coming, don't they? Steve Harvey and his wife. And also, we can't forget about Remy and Papoose. Jesus Christ, 2023 is the year for horrible relationships. But yeah, these two were another symbol of black love, but they fell by the wayside. So yeah, Steve Harvey, his wife, Remy and Papoose, epic fail. And last, but certainly not least, the Montgomery, Alabama Pier Brawl. An incident that could have easily been avoided just from a man doing his job turned into a racial world rumble. Say that three times fast. But yeah, it ended in a chair-induced, fist-swinging, swimming, ass-whooping. And thank God that the black man did not get charged for simply defending himself. 
But I don't think anything happened to those idiots either. Also, shout out to the dude for getting the chair involved because that dude made his entire WWE dreams come true. But yes, that's all the epic fails I got for 2023. Y'all let me know in the comments which ones I left out or feel free to stitch this video and make a response. Peace out.